Paul McCartney's lifestyle and net worth. The music industry has seen several great singers over the years, but Paul McCartney is one of the all-time greats. The former singer of the boy band The Beatles is loved and renowned all over the world for his talent. While you might know most of Paul McCartney's songs, have you ever heard how the rock star lives his personal life offstage? Well, if you don't, no need to worry because we've got you covered. Today we'll explore the life of former member of the Beatles, Paul McCartney, and see how he spends his enormous fortune. Hello and welcome to Celebrity Rich Lifestyle, where we explore the hidden lives of your favorite celebrities. Without further delay, let's get started. Career James Paul McCartney was born on June 18, 1942 in Liverpool, England. He's a great singer and songwriter who became famous with the rock band The Beatles. While he was still very young under the influence of his father James McCartney, Paul taught himself guitar, piano, and songwriting. His career in the music industry began in 1957 as a member of the Quarrymen alongside John Lennon, a band that later evolved into the Beatles in 1960. The band's first hit song was Love Me Do, which became quite famous in the United Kingdom. After that, the band quickly rose to fame and they soon cemented their legacy in rock history with popular songs like Here Comes the Sun, Let It Be, Hey Jude, Don't Let Me Down, and Come Together among others. Despite the band's success, they would not stay long together. In 1974, the Beatles split up, causing McCartney to fall into depression. However, he didn't give up. He kept writing songs and singing solo, giving rise to the hits Say Say Say, four five seconds, and maybe I'm amazed. With this trajectory of success, Paul McCartney established himself as one of the most relevant singers of his generation, which even today moves crowds. So it isn't shocking that he has received several awards throughout his career, including 18 Grammys and eight Brit Awards. Not just that alone, he has also managed to amass a huge net worth for himself meaning that he can buy anything he wants. Estates Paul McCartney has been in the music industry for decades now, during which he has invested in several properties. The singer has one of the most impressive real estate portfolios you can think of. So let's take a look back at some of the properties he has lived in. From 1955 to the early 1960s, McCartney lived in a two-story row house. It was in this house that he and his Beatles bandmate John Lennon wrote many of the band's biggest hit songs. Five years later, the singer bought a three-story property in St. John's Wood, London. It was in this same mansion that McCartney held the reception for his wedding to Nancy Chevelle. At the time, he paid £40,000 for the house. Recently though, a neighboring property went on sale for £16,500,000, suggesting that the value of the area has since skyrocketed. In addition to this, the singer still owns a few estates located in England, including a 150-acre estate called Blossomwood Farm, located in Pease Marsh Village in East Sussex County. When he was married to Linda McCartney, Paul lived a good portion of his life with his family at High Park Farm, Kintyre, Scotland, a property he purchased in 1966. The property was quiet and peaceful, an ideal location for the singer to raise his family away from all the paparazzi. Over the years, McCartney kept on expanding the property until it was over a thousand acres of land. McCartney enjoyed raising animals on his farm and it was also during this time that he developed his support for veganism. However, after the unfortunate passing of his wife Linda in 1998, Paul began to spend less of his time on this amazing farm. McCartney loves peace and quiet, but he's also a huge fan of comfort. He once owned a 4,700-square-foot French-style home located in Hollywood Hills, California. The mansion was built in 1930 and came with a price tag of $4 million. Several sources also speculate that McCartney once owned another incredible mansion in this area. Built in the early 1940s, the 15,000-square-foot mansion sits on a lot of nearly 1.5 acres. The architectural landscape is surrounded by trees, lush gardens, stone walkways, and stunning views. The house itself is also a sight to behold. 
The main door opens into the hallway, which leads into a comfortable living room featuring a grand piano and ceilings with visible wood structures that provide a rustic design. The house is spacious and comes with two huge master suites, three family bedrooms, and three bathrooms. For entertainment, the mansion comes with a movie theater, a two-lane vintage bowling alley, a complete game room, a well-illuminated tennis court, and an area for practicing golf. There's also a huge swimming pool and a luxury spa. Outside the house, there is an elegant and imposing dining area with its stone patio and beautiful Roman columns, giving it that palace vibe. There's also a guest house with two bedrooms and two bathrooms in order to accommodate visitors in comfort. We're not sure if Paul McCartney owns this house or rented it, but what is known is that the rent is $100,000 and the house itself is worth around $23 million. Paul McCartney also owns a huge penthouse in New York, located on Manhattan's prime 5th Avenue, overlooking Central Park. The 3,500 square foot penthouse comes with floor to ceiling windows, which allow residents to have a 360 degree view of the surrounding landscape. The apartment has a classic and retro architecture and features stunning wallpapers and lots of wooden furniture. The property comes with five bedrooms and five bathrooms, enough for the whole family. The singer bought this property back in 2015 for $15.5 million. But after owning the property for some years, he sold it at $8.5 million, which was a huge loss. Cars Similar to most rock artists, Paul McCartney has a soft spot for classic cars. Over the years, he has spent quite a lot of money on stunning vehicles. Some of the cars that have gone through the singer's garage include an Aston Martin DB5. This James Bond-esque sports car cost about $5,600 when McCartney purchased his first one in the mid-1960s, during the Beatles' heyday. In 2017, he auctioned the car for a jaw-dropping $1.3 million. McCartney zooming around London in a Mini Cooper was a common sight in the 1960s. This affordable car only cost him around $850, but allowed easy mobility for Paul to drive himself around rather than be chauffeured constantly. Being an international rock star allowed McCartney to occasionally splurge, like on this ultra-luxury Rolls-Royce Phantom V, which in the late 60s cost upwards of $15,000. During his Wings heyday, living in rural Scotland in the 1970s, McCartney bought himself this Lamborghini 400 GT 2 Plus 2, a high-performance Italian exotic sports car, which cost around $27,000 at that time. After Lennon's shocking death in 1980, a grieving McCartney treated himself to the sporty Aston Martin V8 Vantage, costing over $140,000 to help himself heal through those tough times. Other iconic cars in his garage worth mentioning includes a $30,000 Ford Console Classic 315, a 33,000 Ford Bronco 198, a 35,000 Ford Convertible 315, and a 185,000 Lamborghini S2 Espada. Luxuries Paul McCartney might be one of the biggest A-listers on the planet, but he doesn't like to throw his money around recklessly. But when he spends on anything, it's definitely worth it. He always makes a point of attending interviews and events very well dressed. And to complement his looks, the singer owns a very expensive watch collection. For instance, he owns a Patek Philippe Aquanaut, a stunning watch featuring a sporty design with a rubber bracelet. Only 1,000 units of this model were ever produced, making it highly sought after. The watch costs around $80,000. McCartney really loves this model as he owns another one with a green dial. Another thing McCartney doesn't mind spending on is chartered jets. Being a very successful superstar, McCartney can't afford to throw around some money on private jets. To get an idea of how much money he spends, depending on the size and model of the plane, an hour-long flight can cost up to $20,000. Personal Life while Paul McCartney likes to keep his private life private, he has made several headlines over the years, especially when it comes to his relationships. In his early days as part of the Beatles, Paul had a three-year relationship with Dot Rowan, 
and the pair even got engaged because she was pregnant. However, she had an unfortunate miscarriage and as Paul was only 20 years old, he decided not to push further with the marriage which led to the relationship ending in 1962. He also had a brief relationship with Thelma Pickles, who had previously dated Lennon. After that, he fell in love with Isis Caldwell, who had also been the girlfriend of guitarist George Harrison. When he was in London, McCartney had a five-year relationship with actress Jane Asher after they met in 1963. They lived together for three years and she was the inspiration behind great songs like And I Love Her, You Won't See Me, and I'm Looking Through You. In late 1967, they announced their engagement, but split up after the following year after the singer was caught cheating with another woman. Officially, Paul has been married three times. His first wife was the photographer Linda Eastman, who was the first true love of his life. The pair met in 1967 and got married two years later. They had three children together until they were forced apart by Linda's unfortunate death from breast cancer in 1998. His second wife was Heather Mills, with whom he had his daughter Beatrice in 2003. However, the relationship did not last as three years later, the singer filed for divorce, awarding Mills a settlement of 24.3 million pounds, which is approximately $38.5 million. Paul soon moved on, and in November of 2007, he started dating Nancy Chevelle, and the pair got married in 2011. Net worth Paul McCartney is one of the most iconic rock stars to ever set foot on the stage, and he is lived by generations of rock fans. With such a successful career, you can say he has amassed a huge net worth. After all, he's had over 60 years of an award-winning career. He has sold millions of records and his concerts are always spectacular. While he was still a member of the Beatles, the singer achieved six gold records and sold over a hundred million singles. In the years that he tours extensively, Paul easily earns $70 million on his own. To give you an idea of how much he makes, the Beatles co-founder grossed just over $130 million from his Australian tour in 2023. In addition to the money he makes on tours, McCartney also earns tens of millions a year in royalties and licensing fees. These fees are earned both from his own music and from a valuable portfolio of other artists' royalties through his record label, MPL Communications. This company holds the copyrights to songs by singers like Buddy Holly, Carl Perkins, and many others. Not to mention the money he has already received for the various films and documentaries about the Beatles and his personal life. Currently at the age of 81, Paul McCartney has an estimated net worth of $1.2 billion, making him one of the richest musicians ever. Which one of Paul McCartney's songs is your favorite? Let us know in the comments.